So here we are now at the sharp end, the day before the race, and we're going to talk about the day before and the race. The day before it's important to stay relaxed, to graze on carbohydrate, have a number of smaller meals. Even if you're traveling or if you're moving around or you have to go to the expo, it's important that you're responsible for your nutrition. You've got something in your rucksack, you've got your water bottle and you keep topping up your energy systems. It's not about going to the pasta party and having huge volumes of pasta. It's about spreading that out throughout the day. It's also about trying to stay off your feet and staying relaxed and getting as much rest as possible. And as we said previously, we think it's a good idea to do a 15 or 20 minute easy jog and then a stretch and relax, check your kit for the last time, check the weather for the last time and then switch off and try and have an early night. You may not sleep very well, that's natural because you're anxious and nervous, you're looking forward to the big day. When it comes to the big day on race morning, eat a normal breakfast. You've practiced this before your long runs. For me it was about a couple of bowls of cornflakes, a little bit of plain toast with some jam and a coffee and then I would start hydrating again. Give plenty of time to get to the race start so you're not panicking and make sure you're dressed with your race kit on but also old gear for wet and cold conditions because the last thing you want to do is use energy uh, keeping warm or be wet at the start and it can be quite a long wait at the start of, of a marathon race in the big city marathons. So when you get to the start you want to be relaxed, off your feet, a minimal warm up for the marathon. It's absolutely not that necessary. You have got 26.2 miles to warm up. It's very exciting. There's a lot going on. It's very busy. There's cameras, there's helicopters filming everything that's going on. There's people doing all sorts of weird and wonderful warm ups. Stick to your routine, nothing different. Your pre-race routine of just a little light, loosening off of the legs, getting to your pen on time, being warm, being dry, being relaxed. When it comes to the race, the marathon is all about patience. It's about being excited about the race, but being focused on your race plan and on the pace that you are going to run. Not anybody else, not the hippo beside you, not the guy in the, in the tutu. It's about your race and making sure that you are in control. That way you'll run a fantastic marathon. There are certain points in every marathon around the world where the crowd are absolutely fantastic and the cheering is absolutely awesome. Feed from that, you'll feel the hairs go on the back of your neck stand on end, but don't get excited. Don't start running a minute a mile faster than your race plan. The main aim of your race is to get to mile 18 having looked after your pace on an even pace, having looked after your energy management, making sure that you take on board your gels and your hydration at the right times get to mile 18 in good shape. That is where the marathon starts. That's where things will physically start to hurt. That's where mentally you will be asked the questions. And you need to have the answers to those questions, but you still need to have the energy to do something about running the rest of the marathon. And if you followed the right race plan, you will have. So when the questions are asked, do you want it? Can I do this? You have to know and you have to believe that you can. And by having run the right pace, you will. You will have to bring yourself back together physically in terms of your running style. You will have to refocus. You will have to answer the gremlins in your head. But why are you doing this? How many months have you spent training for this? What good cause are you running for for this? Of course, you can do it. And the main thing between 18, 19 miles and 23, 24 is to focus and to concentrate. That's where it can drift away. That's where you can become sloppy. That's where you can feel sorry for yourself. And once you get beyond that point, all you have to do is finish it off. And you can finish it off and run up the home straight and have a big smile on your face because you've just completed one of the biggest challenges in running that there is. So congratulations and well done.